Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick with Indiegoogle, and Happy Halloween! Now, I said that I was going to be doing a Halloween special using surfaces, so that's what I'm going to be doing, and let's get started by creating a sprite, and take a guess at what I'm going to be using as the player. I bet you guessed a white ball, and if you didn't, you probably haven't watched my tutorials very much. Uh, let's go ahead and name this player. And now we need another object for a lot. Now I've already created one in Photoshop. I'll have a download le link in the description. And I'll also have a tutorial on how to create the lot for yourself. So let's just go ahead and open that up. And name it. Okay. Now let's create the player. and give him some basic movement. Okay. Now, for the surface, you can create the surface in the player, but I do not recommend that. Because, for example, if you have one specific level in your entire game that you want the surface to be drawn in, but you don't want it in any of the other ones, then you would have to create two uh, player objects to do this. So I prefer to just create one separate object for the surface and then all you'll have to do is in that one level place that object so we'll name this obj surface and this is basically the same as my previous tutorial but a little bit different Okay, there we go. So basically what this is doing is draw is creating the surface at the uh, width and height of the view you are using. And this will work even if you don't have views, but don't worry about that. So in other words, it's just creating the surface to be as big as the screen. Okay, now we'll go into the step event. And this part is actually going to be a lot different, so pay attention. Okay, now I'll go on ahead and cover every one of these. You should know what this does, it just sets the target. And this is going to color, or set the color and the alpha of the surface. And we're setting it to black. And we'll be using 0 0.9 for the alpha, so it's just barely transparent. And this will uh, set the blend mode. And basically, blend modes allow you to do uh, all sorts of different things with surfaces and even other things. But we're going to be using BM underscore subtract for this one. And basically, what it's going to do is it's going to take this sprite that you're drawing and subtract it from the surface. So basically, wherever the sprite is, then there's going to be a hole in the surface. And for the sprite, we're drawing it to the X and Y position of the player. And then we have to set the blend mode back to normal and reset the surface target. Okay. So we'll go ahead and add a draw event.
Okay. So what this is doing here, it's drawing it to basically the uh, view, wherever the view is, is going to be drawn, uh, drawn to the very top left corner. So you can look at it, look at it as the view being a camera and you have a film over the camera. So wherever the camera is turned at, then the surface is going to be there. If I hope that makes sense. Uh, you should understand after you start experimenting with it though. Okay. Now the only thing we need to do is put, uh, place both objects in the room. And this actually looks a lot better when you have a background. So I'm going to load this metal dark and place that in the room. Now let's test it. Now as you can see there's a bit of a problem but you can basically see what's going on. We have a very dark room and a lot that kinda follows the player. The reason that it's not positioned perfectly is because of the origin of the lot. We'll go here and pick center and I'll test it out one more time. Now that is a little bit better. We'll need to uh, change one thing in the surface. Where it's being drawn to we need to put plus 16 and plus 16. Now this number here is going to change depending on how big the player sprite is, but since the player in this case is 32 by 32, then 16 would be half, so that's what the number that's the number we're using. You just use half of the dimensions of your player. And now let's test it out again. And it's working now. And that's all for uh, this tutorial. And remember, if you want to create your own lot, then I'll have a Photoshop tutorial up. And you'll be able to watch that and create your own radial gradient. However, if you do not have Photoshop, then you can just download the Sprite. I'll have it in the description. Uh, Any time that I have some kind of special sprite that's created in another program, I'll always have a tutorial and a download link for it. So, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.